My twenty 다 갔어 아무것도 한게 없어 My twenty 다 갔어 Hey guys, it's Regini. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to share you guys my monthly favorites for the month of November. And I am really, really, really ecstatic right now because I literally just finished my college apps. Like, I'm officially done with all of it. I just got an email. It's probably about like my college apps. And also, I want to point out my t shirt. It is a shirt that shows that you donated to the Philippines. And you can get this in any, well, I'm guessing, you can get it in any Filipino store. And for us, it was that if you donate at least $10, you're saving lives and you also get a free shirt. So I got that as I uploaded a picture of me wearing this shirt. On Instagram that you guys can follow me at Regini Jasmine I'll have the links down below anyway um, back to my monthly favorites um, I haven't done one since June because there have been the same products anyway so I felt like I really didn't need to make one because they've been the same products but um since June the products has changed and also I have another monthly drama fave that I'll be talking about at the end of the video. So let's get started with the products. The first one um, I have on my lips right now. I know it looks kind of intimidating, but it's okay. It is intimidating. It's a nice, um, like, burgundy dark red color, and it's black cherry from Revlon. And it looks like this. It is the perfect color for winter and fall and like I said they are on my lips right now I don't know how it's coming up on camera but it's really great and I know you would need a lot of confidence to rock this lip but girl if you're wearing makeup it, your possibilities are limitless so why limit yourself to just nudes and pinks like not that I have anything against them, but I mean, you know, just try to step out of the box once in a while. And then the next thing I have is another lip color, and I know I just said step out of the box, but uh, I actually, before fall, I've been obsessed with pinks and nudes, so my collection is filled with nudes and pinks right now. And this is one of my favorites. This is, um, Crap, what are these called? Just Kissable, no, Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains from Revlon. This one is in 001 Honey. And it's really, really nice. It's so pretty on the lips. That's the swatch. It's like a mauve color that's kind of like your lips but better. And I love it. It's so pretty. I would use to wear it every single day for school that even the cap broke. You can see that. And the next thing I have here is my first MAC face product that I didn't even get. My friend gave it to me because she didn't like it. It is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This bad boy does not crease, does not cake, it doesn't move, it doesn't budge. It's amazing. Um, the one she gave me is an NW25. I'm not sure if that is my color because I've never gotten my skin matched at MAC. But it is so nice. I just came back from like a Thanksgiving party with my friends and my eyeliner kind of smudged to the bottom. And I put powder on it first when I got home. But then I was like, no, it's not covering it. So I put this on top of the powder. And it did, it's not caking, as you guys can see. It's really nice. I mean... Um, I've been using it under my eyes and like on blemishes and stuff, but I feel like the color is just my skin tone, so I don't know about like brightening under my eyes, but it's okay. So yeah, I've been really, really liking this. I believe it's about $19, so I will splurge when I run out. The next thing I have is my um, is a new found favorite in my collection that I haven't used in a while actually um, that I just start, recently started using I think in like late October it is my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder that as you can see I hit pan on because I've been using it a lot and I use it with my e.l.f. powder brush 
it's just a flat top brush and the finish is really nice it's velvety once again I have it on today um, it doesn't keep my face matte all day but nothing really keeps my face matte all day but this powder has been really really nice then the last thing beauty wise of course is my Lancome Phyllis booster and I, I I don't even need to explain it because it was in my previous uh, monthly favorites so it's, it's just really so now to my fashion favorites. I have two shoes again. Um, my first one, uh, my very first Jeffrey Campbell shoes. These are the Jeffrey Campbell Lindor shoes that I bought myself with my own money, not my parents' money, my money. And I got them on sale on Karma Loop. The total, I believe, was like $101, but they are originally priced at, I believe, like $180. I know they also look intimidating, but I mean, if you can put a loss, then you can pull it off. My brother said it kind of reminds him of like dominatrix type of things, so I guess I'm just that. I'm an empowering woman, I guess is what he's trying to say. But yeah, they're really, really cute, and my friend and I got like similar shoes, Jennifer Campbell shoes at the same time. I was gonna get the Col the Col trains, but I liked these better. And my friend did get the Col train, but I I didn't get it because I was really in love with the oil slick Col trains. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link everything down below. And then the second pair are my Doc Martens. These aren't like the regular kind. These are like kind of matte and like boyish looking. I feel. And I swear I've been wearing these every single time that um, we're allowed free dress at my school. And they're really nice and comfortable, but I mean like all docks, um, you need to break them in. Like the first week they will bruise your feet. So my feet were bruised like the first week. But after you break them in, they're the most comfortable shoes you can wear. And these are really, really nice. I've been wearing them all the time, but I kind of feel bad for my other dogs that um, I haven't been wearing them at all. But yes, these are nice. These are matte, and they kind of look like dis they're distressed and like rugged, and it just it just looks really nice. Um, I don't know if I can find these because I don't remember what they were called, but I'll try looking for them because I did see them at DSW uh, shoe warehouse the other day. So yeah. And that's about it for my monthly favorites, beauty and fashion wise. And then it's now time for my monthly drama favorites. And I've been so excited for this drama. Like you guys have no idea. It is airs with Lee Min Ho and Park Shin Hye. And it is so adorable. Like, oh my goodness. It's so adorable. And I, I'm not even in it for Lee Min Ho. I'm in it for... Kim Woo Bin. I don't know if you can see my background, but he is my background and he's just so freaking cute and I feel bad for him in the drama. So I'll read you guys the basic synopsis of it like I did um, with my previous monthly favorites video. So, a worthy successor to the international hit Boys of Our Flowers, Ayers follows a group of privileged elite high school students as they are groomed to take over their family's business empires. These wealthy students seem to have everything under control except their love lives. So that is actually the base of the whole drama in, like, one sentence. Um, I'll link the rest down below, and I've also written one recap for it. I wrote a recap for episode 11 on my Tumblr, so I'll also link that down below. Um, I haven't been posting stuff on Tumblr because of my college apps, but I will start posting, like, more often. So you guys can check it out. I have a color blog and a black and white blog, and I have a Korean show blog. So I'll link all of those down below too. But like I said, I do have drama re one drama recap for airs and I'll link the rest of the recaps down below because I'm pretty sure I, I know Drama Beans has them. So yeah and like I said I can't stop talking about this drama. It is my favorite drama thus far. It is so gripping. 
it pulls on your heartstrings. <laughs> if you catch my drift. Um, but yes, it is so. I I don't want to say relatable because um, I haven't met anyone as rich as they are at their age. So yeah, and through this drama, I'm always asking myself like, why am I not in a Korean drama? Like I know Park Shin His life sucks right now, but I mean with all these guys in love with you and they have so much money and i i just can't you guys really need to check the drama out i'll link all the stuff down below please do check it out it's the bomb right now and i had another drama it's a taiwanese drama called just you with erin yan and i don't remember what the girl's name was but i'll also link that down below i would talk about it more but i really don't like how they ended it like i didn't even know it ended so yeah, I'll also link that down below if you guys want to check that out. It's actually pretty cute too. But yeah, I really just didn't like how they ended it. So yeah, and that is about it for my monthly favorites. And like I said, I will upload and record my updated Ultang inspired makeup look really, really soon. I'll probably do it tomorrow as my Thanksgiving look. I'm not sure. But yeah, I will do it pretty soon and I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, girl. It's your thing. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!